Hello, this afternoon we're going to look at example number 11. Barium hydroxide and sulfuric acid make water and barium sulfate. So if I look at barium hydroxide, barium is a plus 2 charge. We know that hydroxide is a minus 1 charge. So that means I need to have two hydroxide ions. So that's going to give me the formula BaOH sub 2 and it's reacting with sulfuric acid. Remember sulfuric acid comes from the sulfate ion which is SO4 minus 2. So how many hydrogens do we need to cancel out that negative charge? Well I have to have two hydrogen ions. That's going to give me the formula H2SO4. And they say it makes water, which we know is H2O, plus barium sulfate. So we know barium has a plus 2 charge. We know that sulfate has a minus 2 charge. So when we put those together, we're going to get BaSO4. So now let's look at our reactants and our products. We have barium, and we have sulfur, we have hydrogen, and we have oxygen. So if we look at barium, on this side I have one barium, on this side I have one barium. If I look at sulfur, I have one sulfur here, on this side I have one sulfur. On this side I have two hydrogens here, plus two more hydrogens, so that gives me four hydrogens. But on this side I only have two hydrogens, so that means I need to change the coefficient in front of the water to two. So now I have four hydrogens on that side. Now let's count our oxygen. Here I have two oxygen from this part, plus four oxygen, which gives me a total of six oxygen. If I look at this, I have two oxygen here, plus four more oxygen, which gives me another six oxygen. So now I have it balanced by simply adding the two in front of the coefficient of water. So I have one barium hydroxide, plus one sulfuric acid, goes to two water, plus barium sulfate. Have a great day. Bye-bye.